today we're going to be using a hinge connector to make an object always be looking at the player and pointed in their direction. We're starting with this basic person setup with a third person camera so we can see what's happening. I was thinking our object could be a large tuna king who is watching us since we've entered his domain. We'll start with the object that we want to rotate towards the player. Then we'll add a simple box to hold its position and make it invisible, unmovable, undestructible. Make sure to set its Y rotation at 90. Then we'll add a Y hinge connector and use it to put the tuna and the box together. To get the angle that we should be looking at, we're going to use two location sensors, one for the tuna and one for the person. The setup here is similar to our person following tutorial that I also have uploaded. We are going to use two subtraction calculate nodons to get the difference in position between the two objects. The player will go in input one, and the object will always go in input two. Instead of just feeding these numbers into another player character to follow us, we're going to use a position to angle node on. X axis to horizontal movement and z-axis to vertical position. We're going to feed that through an invert node on and plug it directly into the hinge connector. He should be moving in relation to us, but not quite looking directly at us. So we'll change the tuna's y-axis rotation to negative 90. And now it works. He's following us around. As a bonus objective, we're going to have King Tuna defend his sea by launching projectiles at you. We'll add a launch object, connect it to the Tuna, set the launch speed to 100 the launch interval to a rapid firing point 10, and the launch direction to Z negative. As you can see, King Tuna will now look at you and launch projectiles at you. 